Here's Wilbur Tillett writing in 1903. Conviction of sin is that work of the Holy Spirit upon the conscience of the sinner by which he is awakened and made to realize his sinful and lost condition. Under conviction, the sinner is free either to resist the wooings of the Spirit or to follow the Spirit's leading on to repentance and faith. Regeneration, on the other hand, is something done in us, being that act of God by which he breaks the dominion of the sin nature and creates us anew, which transformation is called the new birth and is followed by adoption into the family of God. The order which we have seen to be the true one is, first, conviction of sin or spiritual awakening, second, repentance, third, faith, fourth, justification, and fifth, regeneration. In the Westminster system of theology, regeneration is made to come first in the order of time. It is there identified with effectual calling and is represented as being wrought by God irresistibly and unconditionally. If this system did not teach that everyone who is effectually called and regenerated is infallibly and finally saved, we might say that what we have called conviction of sin by the Holy Spirit, they have designated as effectual calling. 